hello and welcome to my channel so today i am going to show little bit different type of video day in the life of a researcher at india institute of science iisc bangalore so this is the iisc one of the premium research institute of india and here i have spent and worked for the last two years so first after finishing my breakfast I have left for my PG and so I am taking the main road uh, to go to the campus as the campus road is blocked due to construction and this is the road inside the campus Uh, full of nature and uh, it is almost 2 km to go to my department so i see have so many biological sciences departments and uh, this is the molecular biophysics department where i have worked this is my lab and the first thing we are going to perform today is transformation So for transformation I will use electroporation method. So I am going to transform some plasmid DNA in microtransformative cell which is a bacteria uh, through electroporation method. For that I am taking ice as the microtransformer have very thick wall and uh, so we cannot do heat shock method for transformation so that's why we are using electroporation method so for that we need electro cubits the cubits which can pass the electric and with that electric the dna enters into the cell and our transformation is done so first i am cleaning the cubits with 70% alcohol and now i will put them in uv ultraviolet sterilization then we need to check the optical density od of the bacterial culture which we are going to use to make the competent cells and we have given the inoculum for this culture yesterday as this is a very slow growing bacteria first we need to take the water as a blank and now we can measure the culture od which is around 1 so this, that is perfect to make competent cells so now i am taking 1 ml of each cultures in apen drops so there is total of three types of strain which i am using to make competent cells So it is very important to mention the names. Now I am putting them in centrifuge at 4 degrees Celsius. So after carefully taking the supernatant and washing with 50% glycerol for few times, now we can transfer the 
cells into electrocubit and also few nanograms of the DNA. So this is the electropulsor machine and which will give the electropulse to transfer the DNA into the cells. So now immediately we will add some fresh media and put them in shaking incubator for few hours. Now the second thing which I am going to perform today is set up in a RTPCR to check um, the up regulation and the down regulation of some specific genes in my knockout strains. I am using one step TB green so during the reaction in the RTPCR machine first the mRNA which I have isolated earlier I am using there it will be transformed to cDNA and then the cDNA will be bind with the cyber green and we will be able to see how much the DNA amplification is happening and we will analyze this amplification data with our parental strains so after sealing is done carefully now let's go to start the RTPCR And here I am putting the names of the wells in the computer software to analyze easily. Now time to go for lunch. From there we went to fill up the spirit which got finished. So now we are going to biological sciences building for our confocal microscopy of our samples. So in our samples there is some genes attached to GFP which is the green fluorescence protein and also we have stained our sample with the DAPI and so we can see the green and blue light emissions. So our confocal microscopy went well and now we are heading to our department. So now I am adding some resazurin dye in MIC plate which was in incubator for last few days. With the color changes we will be able to know in which minimum concentration the bacteria cannot grow. Suddenly I have seen that Risha was constructing some protein Now back to work and we need to make few new primer stocks for PCR. So just need to add some sterile DNS free water to make it 100 micromolar and from that we will make some working concentration of 10 micromolar and use it in thermocycler reaction.
श्योर क्या बोलना चाहते हो क्या भाई क्या बोलना क्या चाहते हो भाई नोरे बाबा भाई मैं और नहीं ले सकता So after processing the primers are ready and now we are setting up a normal PCR for gene amplification with those primers and we are using DNTP fusion polymerase and its buffer GC buffer here So this is Biplop and he is performing this reaction and also helped me in shooting the videos now time to do some cfu counting the colony forming unit counting of my spot plates which was in incubator for last 3 days after performing some assays isne assays take kiya hai hey so the last thing of the day is to give inoculum of secondary cultures from primary cultures which will be required for the next day as the mycotoxicity grows very slowly they will be kept in a shipping incubator for overnight Now head back to home as all the works are done. So this was a little bit different kind of video than my PhD abroad series. To show my typical days at IIC, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content on PhD abroad, and to like, comment, and share.